Okay, the labor union fight at Starbucks has taken another turn. The National Labor Relations Board has sued Starbucks for allegedly retaliating against three employees who were involved in organizing a union. Yahoo Finance's Danny Romero has the latest. Danny. Yeah, Starbucks once again is on the offense side amid a nationwide vote um, wave of unionization efforts. The coffee giant is calling out the labor organization that is representing pro-union baristas for allegedly breaking labor laws amid a recount vote that happened in upstate New York. The Starbucks store in upstate New York had previously voted um, to unionize, but they had undergo a recount vote on Friday. Six additional ballots were counted on Friday for that store that were not counted back in March. The regional office had received seven additional ballots late before the initial vote count, but the regional director decided not to count those late ballots according to the NLRB. Starbucks filed objections um, against the regional office in Buffalo for not counting those late ballots. And after a recount, on Friday, the vote was a split, was split 10 in favor, while 10 voted against it. Now, the final results are still really up in the air right now because one ballot unopened remains challenged. So the NLRB is uh, the, the NLRB is reviewing that ballot right now. But again, the union needs 50% uh, plus one vote to really win this one. So if it ends up being a tie vote, then the union uses, uh, loses this one. But it would be a really a, a big landmark because this would be the first time that a vote count is overturned in favor of Starbucks. But that also didn't start that didn't stop Starbucks from calling out the labor organization representing pro-union baristas after this recount. A Starbucks spokesperson sent us this statement that reads in part, these intermediaries have demonstrated not only uh, do they not operate in the best interest of partners, but sadly they break labor rules to do so. So the behavior we're seeing from Workers United organizers is not acceptable and we won't tolerate it. We reached out to um, Starbucks Workers United, the union representing pro-union baristas, and they are actually disputing this election saying that this shows uh, seven months and a half of union busting in Buffalo. They filed for an election in September of 2021 with an overwhelmingly majority of union cards, but Starbucks convinced the NLRB to agree to delay our elections and we did not and we did if we did not pull the petition. Now according as of Friday to the NLRB, 26 stores have voted in favor of unionization while two stores have voted against Two store um, votes still remain undetermined. So a total of 30 stores out of the 200 stores that have filed for a petition have um, voted so far. Brian? 